you haven't done so yet, please pause the video and try to solve the question on your own before listening on. When the question states that nearsighted Nick can see far away objects clearly, the word far away suggests that the object distance, which is denoted as p, is going to be essentially infinity. It's a very, very large number for the object distance. The image distance for that scenario would be whatever his far point is. And the question notes that the far point is 80 centimeters. Now, with eyeglasses questions, we want to make sure our image distances are always negative. So we're going to write negative 80 centimeters for that image distance. We could turn to the thin lens equation and quite easily calculate the focal length of his glasses. Because the object distance is infinity, we're going to have 1 divided by infinity, and 1 divided by a very large number essentially goes to 0. And so this entire quantity here, 1 over p, can be eliminated from the equation. We could then plug in the image distance of negative 80. And if we invert both sides of this equation, we would see that the focal length would also be equal to negative 80 centimeters. This would be the focal length of his glasses. Now on to the question, which asks, at what minimum distance is he able to see objects clearly? In that case, the question is asking us for an object distance, so we're going to be calculating a new p-value. And because the question says the minimum distance, that means that this object will be located very close by to nearsighted Nick, and therefore the image will be at his near point. And so we're going to let the q equal negative 18 centimeters. We can go back to the thin lens equation. And if we wish, we can solve this equation for p, the object distance, and then plug in the known quantities. Or we can plug in the known quantities first and then solve. In this case, I think it's easier to actually just go ahead and plug in the known quantities first. So we're going to have 1 over negative 80. And then for the q, it's negative 18. So that the fact that q is a negative 18 is going to change this plus sign to a minus sign. So in effect, we have minus 1 over 18. We could then add the 1 over 18 over to the left-hand side. And then in order to solve for p, what we can do is put this quantity over a 1. And then whenever we have a fraction on one side and a fraction on the other side of an equation, we can actually invert both sides. So the right-hand side is going to become p over 1, which is just p. And then we could pick up our calculator and type in 1 divided by that decimal. And when we do that, we get a value of approximately 23.2 centimeters. So this would be the correct answer. This is the nearest object distance that Nick can see objects while wearing his glasses. Thanks for watching. If you like the video, click the thumbs up icon and subscribe to the channel. You can send in your own question to the email address on the screen and I'll do my best to answer it on YouTube.